Hello everyone. Now today we are discussing about profit and loss. So when we talk about profit and loss, there are the terms like CP, which is actually known as cost price, SP, which is known as selling price, then MP, which is known as mark price. And this mark price can also be written as listed price or list price. When we talk about cost price, all the shopkeeper first of all purchase the articles. So that purchase price on which they purchase the article is known as cost price. After the cost price, they mark a particular price on that article. Suppose I purchase an article for rupees 500. Definitely I would like to sell it at the higher price. So when I want to sell it at the higher price, that is the meaning of profit. Now, because I want to sell the article which I am purchasing at rupees 500, I want to sell it for rupees 600 suppose. Definitely, if I will write 550 on the article, nobody will buy it for rupees 600. So what a shopkeeper does that he writes rupees 800 on the article so that if anybody wants some discount still the shopkeeper is able to sell it for rupees 600 now this mark price we will discuss in the next video we come to the two parts the cost price and selling price only when you sell the article above the price at which you purchase it that is known as profit but at times what happens that you are not able to sell it at above the cost price so you are selling it at below the cost price even and this term is known as loss. As I already told suppose one purchase the article for rupees 500 and sells it for rupees 600 so there is a profit of rupees 100. On the other hand suppose one purchase the article for rupees 500 and sells it for rupees 400. Then this is known as the loss of rupees 100. Now, when I am saying there is a loss of rupees 100 or there is a profit of rupees 100, now there are two terms. One is loss and profit, and the another term is loss percent and profit percent. When I am talking about the term loss percent and profit term percent, these are different from the term loss and profit. Now suppose we talk about two different type of shopkeepers. One purchase the article for rupees 1000 and sells it for rupees 1200. We know that he gets a profit of rupees 200. Another person purchase an article for rupees 100 and sell the article for rupees 130 he gets a profit of rupees 30. Now as the value absolute value this person gains rupees 200 and this person gains rupees 30 so his gain is more than his gain but this gain is not the criteria to find out that who is having more profit because as the volume or the price of the value is more then definitely this person is getting more profit rupees wise in context of this person so I am saying that this person is having a profit of rupees 200 on the other hand this person is having a profit of rupees 30 but when I am saying about profit percent or loss percent this profit percent means profit if the cost price is rupees 100. If the cost price is rupees 100, then what is the profit is the meaning of profit percent. Same way, loss percent is loss if the cost price is rupees 100. Now, when I am talking about the profit when the cost price is rupees 100 or loss when the cost price is rupees 100, we can put it in the different form. I am saying when the cost price is CP, then the profit is rupees P. If the cost price is 1, 
Definitely, when the price is less, the profit will be P divided by the cost price. And when the cost price is 100, then the profit is P upon cost price into 100. This all the student study in class 3 or class 4. So I am saying that when the cost price is rupees 100, then whatever the profit is known as profit percent or we can say the profit percent, we can put it as a formula, it is profit upon cost price into 100. Or I am saying that when the cost price is rupees 100, then the profit is P upon CP into 100. So this can act as the formula. Same is the case with loss percent because here, if in case the cost price is CP and loss is L, cost price is 1, then the loss is L upon CP and if the cost price is 100, then the loss is L upon CP into 100. Or I am saying the loss percent is loss upon cost price into 100. So these are basically two formulas which we generate from this logic. Thank you.